Yo, what is up guys? It's the Goblin and welcome back to their Call of Duty Black Ops 4 video. In this video, what we're going to be doing is comparing two of the best burst guns in this game. The, well, the best burst tactical rifles, because there's only three tactical rifles. And the two that are the most best to compare will be the two that fire in burst. The ABR-223, which is a three-round burst machine. And then we have the Swordfish, which is a four-round burst machine. Uh, also, I'm going to be talking about the operator mods, because that's something you have to take into consideration with both of these weapons. So when we're comparing the operator mods for these, I need to compare the ABR repeater, which allows each successive burst to be increased in speed and, you know, decrease the burst delay, basically increase the fire rate and the speed. And then also uh, allows you to hold down the trigger when bursting, which is a very, very nice thing about that. You don't have to be tapping it. And then the pentaburst is pretty self-explanatory. Pentaburst changes the swordfish from a four round burst to a five round burst. Now, a lot of people I, I see always loving the swordfish and saying, oh, swordfish, this swordfish, that swordfish is a great amazing gun it's one shot potential if you have the right class stuff like i'm going to talk about today is huge but the abr might be a better option for a lot of players and the abr is a sleeper option i'm going to talk about why i mean i think these two weapons are both of them are good for different scenarios and that's usually what these comparison videos are about i don't usually at the end of the video say oh this one just blows it out of the water because then why would i even be doing a comparison video you know some things are better for example in my spitfire versus sog the conclusion was spitfire is going to be your best up close but once you get past a certain point that's where the sog will take over and everything less recoil uh d you know d different things like that i mean if you can't if you could control the spitfire recoil hypothetically at unlimited range yeah it'd be a god gun but we know th that's not gonna really happen you know so basically uh drop a like on this thing guys i got straight into it i didn't even ask for likes please ask please i forgot to ask for likes almost drop a like on this thing i would very very much appreciate that i hope everyone is having a uh, great christmas if you're celebrating that great holidays going into the new year just hope everyone's having a good i love this time of year and i hope everyone's just just having a good time uh so drop a like on this thing i would very very much appreciate that that could be your, your christmas gift to me is smacking that like button and subscribing to the channel if you guys aren't already subscribed and let's get right into this okay we're breaking down these two weapons right so i used to i like to break down when I, when I do compare uh weapon comparisons i like to compare them by sort of different things the time to kill the range slash weapon control the class ups and the utility that's sort of been my blueprint with these weapons they're sort of unique so let's go through and let's talk about straight up the utility of these two weapons first off we have the abr 223 and the swordfish both have 36 in the magazine uh the rpm or the fire rate the rounds per minute with the abr is slightly higher around 75 points higher which is kind of significant um there's also way more things to take into account uh 1197 is, is the rpm on the abr and it's around 1124 for the swordfish the ads times are pretty much identical the reload times the abr has a bit of a faster reload and the burst Burst delays are very, very similar. Um, if you don't have Penta Burst on, your burst delay is a teeny bit less with the Swordfish. If you do have it on, it's a teeny bit more. But then, of course, with ABR repeater and stuff, that can also be changed. So, when it comes down to the utility of these two different weapons, it's pretty much the exact same across the board of the stats and the reloads and stuff, uh, you know, the magazine size. But one big thing that is a huge difference and is basically one of my biggest things to advocate in for the uh, ABR is the fact that the attack attachment stock is available on the ABR which is probably the best attachment for tactical rifles and assault rifles in this game because it allows you to strafe and take weapons that are made to be used at longer ranges and be more comfortable with them I should not be using a weapon like the ABR on uh, you know a map like summit or different slums but you can be doing that because of that ability and when you have stock you just have so much more room to maneuver around up close and that's the big difference between the ABR and the uh, swordfish when it comes down to utility across the board they're pretty similar you know f fire rate things like that but stock is such a big attachment in my opinion and i really do think that it, it makes this comparison actually worthwhile and makes it quite a bit uh, of a good comparison so when it comes down to these two weapons um the shots to kill with the abr it takes four to five bullets to kill and with the swordfish it takes five to six bullets so that sort of doesn't fully make up for but kind of makes up for the fact that the abr has shoots three uh shoots three round bursts and then the swordfish shoots four round bursts when it comes down to the time to kill both of them if you're not doing any you know operator mods or attachments we'll talk about 
about that later in this video. We'll get to that. But if they're just the flat guns, it's going to take both of them two bursts to kill. And the ABR is going to have a faster time to kill up close when it's unloading two bursts. But the swordfish is going to have a faster time to kill at range um, or between the ranges of like 30 meters and like 70 meters, which is pretty much all your ranged engagements in this game. Um, and then, of course, when we have to break it down with these two weapons, the time to kill with the ABR, you're going to be getting two burst kills every single time. There's no way on an ABR to get a one burst kill unless the enemy is already weak, even if you hit it straight up to the head. However, with the swordfish, you can see this weapon, it's going to be a consistent two burst kill as well, but it's going to have less utility because of that stock. But where it makes up for this is the fact that the swordfish has the penta burst, which it is a five to six shot kill. So if you are able to hit that full burst with the penta burst, you're able to get a one shot kill. And also high caliber and headshots do matter on the swordfish. So if you run, like my setup is I run high caliber and the operator mod, I have two possible ways of getting a one burst kill. So when it comes down to the comparison for that, I really Really think that the swordfish if you're someone that's tactical that can hit headshots that can nail that one burst kill which is not as easy as it sounds and trust me watch back gameplays with swordfish pentaburst there's not nearly as many one burst kills as you would think because most of the time enemies are moving you're not gonna be able to hit that full burst uh you know because of that on the other hand with the ab the pentaburst is great for that one shot potential uh and so is high caliber on the other hand with the abr we get the repeater which allows you to sort of ramp up your fire rate as you're going hold down the trigger and you don't have to worry about headshots. You don't have to worry about that. You know you're going to get a consistent two burst kill. Now, of course, these weapons can both take both take three to four bursts to kill if you're missing shots. But I'm talking about you know if it's if it this for example the ABR is a four to five shot kill. You're shooting out of two burst six shots. You should be able to land the four shots to kill people up close. Consistent two burst should be happening up close. And so it should also with the swordfish. The other thing with the swordfish is because it's shooting out more bullets. It's going to be shooting out in, in five. Uh, uh, it's going to be shooting out five bullets per burst with pentaburst. That's going to take a while to come out of the gun. When with the ABR with repeater, the longer the gunfight is and the more you're ramping up, that can really make a difference. So when it comes down to comparing these two weapons overall with, with, with those two things in mind, I really think that... I would take the ABR up close just because, sure, the Swordfish could one-shot the player and save your life. I'd rather have a weapon with stock. And you can see how I play with stock. Cause, like I can slide back and forth and just boom, boom, two burst, two burst, two burst, two burst. And the thing is with... Um you know, with both of these weapons and the way this game works is it's not all about getting the, the full kill and killing an enemy from full health to no health. This, you know, I play Domination. It's a team-based game and a lot of the kills enemies are, are already going to be weak or you're going to just make them weak to get credit for that EKIA. And I really do think that a lot of people don't give the ABR credit for what it's good at, which is being a consistent gun in this game that has some pretty cool variants with it and does well with stock. My class up with the ABR is usually uh, stock, the operator mod repeater, and then the extended mag. Because when it comes down to recoil, both these guns don't really have much kick. The ABR is going to kick more just because you're going to be bursting over and over and over again. But you could choose to run grip if you wanted on that. So when it comes down to the comparison between these two guns, I think you need to take a couple things into consideration. Number one, are you the type of player that, that has very good accuracy and that can land that full five shots of the burst or land just a, a headshot in, in the middle of a normal burst to get one shot killed with the swordfish? If you can do that, because you don't need to land every headshot, all you have to do is land one headshot and then three body shots and they'll actually die with the swordfish. So if you are a specialist, if you're someone that can hit headshots and that can hit one burst kills, much like I say about the auger and the rampart, those guns are very good for people that know how to use them and use the high caliber too to their advantage or the high caliber with the double tap on the auger, right? With the swordfish, I, I say that if you can do that, yes, run that gun. You also have to keep in mind, though, the, the size of the map. For example, I like the swordfish on bigger maps where I, I don't feel... Like, I feel vulnerable when an enemy is rushing me with the swordfish. So I'll play it on smaller maps like firing range, but I'll sit back and try to keep the gunfights at range. With a weapon like the ABR, I rush up pretty intensively, and it fits my play style more. So I think you need to consider play style, map you know, the level of player that you are and just what you're trying to get done. It really, when it comes down to it, it's do you want a two burst consistent with stock or do you want a one burst potential high damage with no stock? And, you know, I value stock as something that is worth so, so much to me in this game because I've been playing Call of Duty for so many years now and it's always been an attachment that I've been pretty much always rocking on assault rifles, on tactical rifles and things like that. And to use it on the M8 and that gun, the M8 does not have anything that, it's not like the M8 has great hit 
hip fire to make up for it or anything like that. I mean, hip fire and burst guns is not always the way to go. Um, so when it comes down to that, these two weapons are comparable. Statistically, off the one shot potential, the swordfish will win. However, if you value stock and you value the repeater operating mod and the ability to hold down the trigger, which is also another thing we're not talking about. It's a lot easier to just hold down that trigger and have it ramp up than to be constantly tapping it on the swordfish. And if you do mess up, you could cause a manual delay on that. So I think there's a lot of things to consider with these weapons. And this is a pretty close comparison that, you know, either way, I'm sure most people probably will enjoy the swordfish, but I'm sure a lot of players will enjoy the ABR like myself that like to play a little more aggressive with stock. And the, the swordfish you can still play aggressive with. I just find this so awkward, like aiming down sights around corners and different things like that when your weapon uh, doesn't have stock and has the slow strafe speed that the ARs and the tactical rifles by default have in this game based on all the nerfs and everything trying to buff the SMGs and basically bring everything down, uh, you know, bring those down, bring the SMGs up. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. I think that's a pretty accurate comparison. You guys can make the choice for yourself. Of course, it all depends how you design your class setup also around these things and if you use the operating mod or not. Honestly, if you're not, like if these were both just no attachments, the ABR would win. Uh, if, you know, if you're, if you rock the Swordfish Pentaverse versus the ABR without the repeater the pentaverse will probably win like you know there's so many options that come into this and i thought this was great for a comparison video and i think that i wrapped it up so you guys can make the choice of which weapon you want to rock and it's always fun to rock both you know i like to rock swordfish i'll use it on nuketown but i'll sit back more I'll, I'll, my play style is different with these two weapons even though they're very similar thanks for watching guys drop a like subscribe and uh, i'll see you guys in the next one i'm out peace